thanks for joining me today here in the practice. I'm going to be doing a video series on family law, which is something I'm very passionate about. And we're going to be asking you, the viewer, to please comment and post. And if you have questions or something I can respond to directly in the post comments, uh, leave, a, leave a note to me. I'll either reply in a private message or I'll try to address it in a subsequent video series. Thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share so you can see what we're doing and hopefully that these video series will be of some benefit to you all. So this video series is going to be talking briefly about visitation rights, what they are, when they can and cannot be withheld, and what the judicial system will do about that and you know what the judicial system may perceive uh, through the actions of parents who are in a dispute over the right to spend time and visit with their children. So the denial of visitation rights is unfortunately a very common thing and especially with the summer months coming up, a lot of custodial parents, whether male or female, especially with younger children, get very nervous and upset about the prospect that their child may be gone for upwards of 30 days or if the non-custodial parent lives more than 100 miles, 42 days during the summer and they do things which they believe are in the children's best interest but that essentially result in a denial or potential denial of visitation to the non-custodial parent and the courts don't look on that in a kind way, and I'll explain that in more detail.